at this locality, I want to show you another feature of igneous rocks. But before we do that, I'm going to try a little experiment. When magma comes to the surface, you find that the reduction in pressure on the magma allows any volatiles present in it to start to exsolve in the form of gas bubbles. The effect of that can be, in some cases, to make the lava froth up. We're going to see if we can do the same here with a Coca-Cola bottle. The top's tightly screwed on at the moment, so the Coke's under pressure. But as I remove the top, gas is starting to bubble up towards the surface as the pressure is reduced on the Coca-Cola and the carbon dioxide, if you like, exsolves. If we turn to the rocks themselves, here we can see the lateritic top of an older flow which has been weathered, and above it we can see a much fresher rock. And within that rock, with these gas bubbles, but they're empty. But as we move down towards the base of the flow, some of the cavities are actually filled with a white mineral, which is either zeolite or calcite. We have one slight conundrum here, though, in the sense that the bubbles are at the base of the flow. As the magma is erupted onto the surface, and once it starts to cool as a lava flow, you actually start to get some gas rising towards the surface where it gets trapped. But the lava flow is moving. And what you see happening, in effect, is that as the lava flow moves forward, these early form bubbles get brought down onto the base of the flow. <laughs>